people's like main reaction when they look at a snake inside. They say it's a mantis. I always hear them say, oh no, it's a mantis. Then I want to go outside and just like, it's, it's not. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jianning and I'm an invertebrate keeper here in the Singapore Zoo. Like working with invertebrates in general is very amazing. Invertebrates is something that is very forgotten. Yeah, like people don't know much. They only know like the very few basic ones, but actually there's so many. This is a sub-adult Krisangi leaf insect. This one here I have is a female. It's endemic to Singapore, which means that it can only be found in Singapore. Stick and leaf insects, their main defence mechanism is camouflage. So as you can see here, most of them are camouflaged pretty well. And sometimes they tend to sway around like a leaf as well. They are the red wing green giant stick insect because of the red wing. Usually for stick and leaf insects, the females are generally larger in size. And for this species, the male will be able to fly. The females are not able to due to their weight and their size. They can reproduce parthenogenically, which means that the females can lay eggs without the presence of a male. Yeah, but that's cool. <laughs> so this one is the, the giant bookie female. So when they are threatened, they will curl up the abdomen like that to mimic a scorpion. But actually, they are harmless. <laughs> the thing is that they have very specific type of leaves that they consume. So if you're going to give them like some random leaf, right, they'll just sleep it. Yeah, it's probably like some decoration in their house. But I realised that there are so many invertebrates that I didn't know about. It's because they make up like more than 95% of the animal kingdom. So basically, the learning will never end.